Well, welcome back to the show you're watching today right across this wonderful country of ours. Good to have your company this morning. Well, you may not know this, but that guy right there, Blue Wiggle Anthony <laughs> Field, has been fighting a few personal demons. Anthony has overcome clinical depression, a life-threatening illness and chronic pain. And now he's written a book about it called How I Got My Wiggle Back. <laughs> Anthony, good morning to you. Good morning. It is a very honest book. Why have you decided to be so honest? Uh, because... Provided, I, I got um, shown a way to uh, li live with depression and and get healthy, and and uh, I thought I'd share that with people in the same book. It's it's a it's a growing uh, I think it's the number two or number three uh, illness that that affects people in, in in society these days, and it's it's not getting any less. Uh, so this is a it's a drug free way and a, a very healthy way of of overcoming um, the, you know the black dog. Yeah. How tough was the depression for you? Because you don't have a career where you can go and hide behind a desk or, you know, put your head down and, and feel, feel flat. I mean, you have a career where it's all about being up and bright and light. How tough was that? Uh, on the road, it's, it's, see, I, I, I think because we started and then all of a sudden we're doing eight months away from home, uh, living in a, you know, out of our suitcases. And, uh, and everybody's dealing in, in their own way how to, how to deal with uh, being on the road. For me, it just made me very lonely and very sad. And on stage, I'd be fine. I'd be, you know, never had a problem on stage. It's when I came off stage, I'd be very sad, get, you know, terrible thoughts about myself. And um, sometimes I was so sad, and I'd just go in my room, in the dressing room, you know, have, have, have a cry and things like that. But the good thing was, and, and this is in any workplace, you need someone to come up and go, "How you going, mate? That, that that'll help, right?" So Murray was the guy that always <laughs> came through and said. How you going, mate? What's going on? Mm. And I, I appreciate him doing that because uh, that's all it takes just for someone to say, are you okay? But, but it is very tough when someone suffers from depression, it's very hard to know how to help that person because it seems to be such a downward spiral and you're never quite sure if you're helping or you're hindering. True. Uh, it, but as long as you say, how are you? I think that's the first thing. And my, I, I thought I was such a burden on everyone. I got my own dressing room, put in this this bar, put my own, you know, bar to hang on, not a bar to drink, and uh, put music on and I would go in there so I wasn't bothering anybody. Uh, so really on the road, I'd be, it made myself even lonelier because I'd just stick to myself. I thought no one wants to talk to me anyway. Well, what's, so, what's the difference, Anthony? I, I'm intrigued in terms of being down and being depressed because I think just about everyone experiences times where you, you're feeling down. Yeah. Are you talking about every day? Is this every day? Uh, it's every day and they're, they're, they're thoughts that aren't, um, I'm just feeling down. This is thoughts of, uh, you know, I, I want to harm myself. I'm not worthy of living in this world. Okay. Uh, I don't fit anywhere. Um, uh, you know, nobody likes me. So, I don't like myself. So how did, how did you fix it? Well, I, it, basically, I, I, um, I, I, tried, uh, I tried all sorts of things. I, I was also in pain. I had bad back pain. I had uh, uh, infections in my teeth. I've only got um, 10 of my original teeth. These are all uh, because I got so many infections from, uh, from uh, inflammation, from bad backs, and uh, I had terrible health problems, and that wasn't helping my mind, and I was taking painkillers. So basically, uh, my digestive system and my brain weren't working very well. And uh, so how I did it, I met these chiropractors in America, uh, Dr. Stockson in Chicago, and he said to me, it's a long fix, but we can get you healthy and uh, pain-free and largely drug-free. Now, I've got to say that I'm still on Zoloft, and I'm not ashamed to say that that's an antidepressant and that keeps me on a mm. keeps me myself actually it doesn't it's 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 uh, there's a lot of stigma about that but uh, I'm, I'm quite happy to say that but apart from that I gave up uh, drinking I wasn't a big drinker but I don't drink alcohol uh, maybe occasionally when the Tigers are losing I might but <laughs> <laughs> apart from that and also just uh, you know food that's healthy food that's you know not not processed and then I had this the doctor gave me this incredible health regime which is a great sort of uh, meditation thing. You know, the endorphins kick in. If you're depressed, get out and exercise. Mm. It's the best thing you can do. Mm. This exercise is, um, that you're doing here is, is, is part of it, that, that physicality of, of movement and um, going inside yourself and being more confident with yourself physically um, leads to, you know, that mental um, cleaning out as well, doesn't it? Mm. Absolutely, Carl. Wow. It, 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 it also gives you something to focus on. While you're mm. doing that, you're not thinking about, gee, I'm a bad person. Gee, you know, no one loves me. Or, you're actually just going, oh, gee, I'd like to get that, 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 you know, I'd like to do that properly. And, uh, it's about setting a goal and achieving that goal. And those goals never stop. You've got yeah. to keep, you've got to keep, because with, when you <coughs> have depression and, and, and you, you can, it can come back again. It's not like I've cured depression, mm. you know, I'm just living really well and, and happy. I have my moments still where, uh, 
um, like the Today Show a couple of weeks ago, which wasn't a great moment. But the, you know, there are moments in my life where, where I get to get down, and I just don't mm. don't handle it. But mainly, I'm really happy. Good for you. Are you ripped? <laughs> Look at him. Look at this muscle here. It's, it's just bursting fit. to get so out. You could actually do, fit. You don't have to be uh, the blue wiggle. You could just be the, 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 the skin wiggle. Oh, I don't think about that, Carl. The flesh wiggle. Yeah. The ink wiggle, that's the, for sure. You give all the mums something oh, to... No. Oh, don't oh, they worry. They already do, the don't you worry about that. The mums have already got their favourite and caught oh, up in this. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, no, you you guys are doing so watching. well. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Anthony, for being well so done. open Thank and, uh, and honest and candid with us today. A lot of people um, a lot of people suffer, and um, it's great to see someone out there in the front um, who is very successful, um, you know, um, comparing themselves and, and telling other people that they can get through it. Yeah. Good on you. Great title. Thank you very too. much. Great yeah. title. How I got my wiggle back by Anthony Field.